In this set of video tutorial, we are going to learn a couple of more formulas like COUNTIF and SUMIF and uh, in which scenarios these are really useful. So, specifically talking about our case study, let's look at uh, the overall employees. They are 19 in number and they are divided into various departments, marketing, IT, finance, support and likewise, you know, they come from different genders, male, female and they have different salaries as such. Now, let's say if we want to answer these kind of questions what is the total salary of marketing professionals now if this is the question that we are kind of looking at what we will have to do if we are doing it in a traditional way would be to sum total all the marketing employees salaries and do it mechanically so I mean that's obviously easy choice to do but when you are dealing with large data it will be really close to impossible to do it mechanically so in that way you know it will be very easy if you are using some functions with an if command likewise you know you remember if we had earlier used if function we were doing the certain calculations with some kind of conditions now what we need to really now do here is to sum total the salaries with a condition that only choose the marketing professionals so that's how you know you can apply uh, these set of formulas so we'll learn all these formulas now so the two functions which we will be dealing with now would be count if and sum if now these two commands are really easy if you know how to apply if function let me apply this in our case so let's calculate the following total number of employees in each department and we should also try to calculate the total salary in each department so there are various kinds of departments one is I'll, I should write that down marketing IT finance support these are the four departments which we have in this table and uh, we can also try to calculate the salary drawn and the total number of employees who are male and uh, how many of them are female so what we will do is we'll use count if function and sum if function to do the desired tasks so let us now first and foremost calculate the total number of employees so for this let us use the count if function so as we have seen for other set of formulas we need to start with equal to and we will type count if with a bracket open the moment we do that you can see the syntax that needs to be given for count if it asks for two things one is the range and the second one is the criteria so where is the range on which we need to find the total number of employees the range would be the marketing IT finance this column would be the range so I have taken from the top till the very bottom and what exactly is the criteria the criteria is that select the marketing guys so I can give criteria in two ways one is if I, I can type this manually by writing marketing and within inverted commas and bracket closed so what will happen is uh, this Excel will provide me with the total number of marketing employees by using this count F so it's only counting when the department is marketing otherwise it leaves it so as I told you there are two ways of doing it one we can write this under inverted commas or second we can delete this and we can directly choose the one which we have written in this cell which is cell C30 that is the criteria 